the spirit uh, tongue look tongues 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 talking about tongues this is part two of tongues and we're gonna go into demonology okay and man we going there today y'all get your Bibles out this is the Sir Walter Jones show Comet presents the power of staying in the light having trouble juggling all your bills are you worried about the lights getting turned off? ComEd Care programs can help you keep the lights on. Care programs offer help to those facing financial hardships. All inquiries are confidential. To see if you qualify, visit ComEd.com slash care or call 1-888-806-CARE. ComEd. Powering lives. Grant amounts may vary while funds are available. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. That was a short break because we got a lot to talk about. <laughs> Don't worry, for y'all, if you tune in this uh, show for some music, uh, you can catch the D.K. Durandal show on Saturday at 5 o'clock Central. If you want some top 10 and all that wonderful music, yes, yes. Uh, but if you want to hear the Word of God, then uh, you're at the right place. Now, we will give you a song. Some Maybe at the top of the hour, we'll give you a song to kind of relax your nerves a little bit. All right? <laughs> calm you down. Yeah, calm you down, because I think Abronia might need it. Yes, yeah, she Father. needs it. Really. Father. <laughs> ah, 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 yeah, yeah, Abronia, we got you. We got- <laughs> uh, she says, all words from any language will never be fully translated into another language. True. Yeah. That's yeah. why it's called a translation. Yeah. Even yeah. in the King James Version, if you notice in some of your iPads mm-hmm. that has the KJV, mm-hmm. there are a lot of dashes in there. Yeah, that's true. That dash is there for a reason. Yeah. yeah. Because, see, some stuff they just couldn't put in your Bible on the pages right. for room's sake. But in your iPad, it's there, and you hit that dash, and it'll tell you what's going on. All right, bro. Matter of fact, it is stated that there was a conversation between Moses and God. Mm -hmm. And in some of the older Bibles, there is a space in between there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what literally happened is it is said Moses went into tongues (laughs) and the translator could not put what happened in the Bible. So there was a dash or something in some of the original Bibles. Wow. Because tongue talking didn't just start in the new Testament. Right. Even Mo, uh, 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 Isaiah spoke about stammering lips sure and did. stuff like that. He sure did. And yeah. and there's no way you cannot be in the presence of God like Moses was mm-hmm. and just be, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. hey, God, what's up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> something happened <laughs> hey to God, Moses. What's up? <laughs> well, something happened, uh, right, to, to his, his hair, too. <laughs> his hair, his face, the whole thing. Yeah. They had to put a veil over his face. Well, look at the Mount of Transfiguration. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, why do you think, uh, for instance, there was a discussion on Facebook about the tongues, mm-hmm. about speaking in an unknown tongue, a heavenly tongue, mm-hmm. and then speaking in the tongues of men. All mm-hmm. right, and then then I I I said, well, why why would you be in a room of, of all English speakers? Okay, and then God have to give this man a tongue, mm-hmm. and then somebody in the room have to translate it back into English. It seemed like it's double talking. Yes, I wasn't going there. <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just go there, Abronia? Tell me. Say he just went there. But go ahead. But what was your answer? What was your answer? Uh, I was going to say that there is a reason why that tell me why. takes place. Tell me now, why. can I can I do can I say thing uh, the purpose of tongues? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, I got three. Reasons. Uh The purpose of tongue, number one, is for communication. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two, and I have scripture. Number two, it's for personal or spiritual edification. Okay. And then number three, tongues are for a sign. Right. All right. So each one we have read in scripture where it mentions that tongues, of course, is for communication. Mm -hmm. That's how we communicate. Mm -hmm. Then we read, and we'll probably read it today, if you will, in in 1 Corinthians 14, Mm -hmm. about when he who speaks in an unknown tongue does mm-hmm. what? He edifies himself. Right. So then tongues or unknown tongues is for spiritual edification. Mm-hmm. While I'm there, I did read where D'Angelo did say that a person can grow spiritually by speaking in tongues and someone disagree with him. Mm-hmm. Well, if you have spiritual edification, that means you are being built up. That means growth. Yeah, that that comment actually makes sense. Yes, it no does. matter whether you're speaking in a tongue or, or whether you're speaking in English or whether you 
Fasting yes. or whatever. Yes. Yeah, it is built. And then he says tongues are for signs. Those three things. And I do have scripture for those things. Mm-hmm. But your question is really on the purpose of speaking in a tongue. Mm-hmm. Now, if you got 50 English speakers in a church setting, the Lord can move. You know how it is in our church. Anybody can get up and say, the Lord said, the Lord said. Yeah. Which is, that's how we said, thus yeah, said the Lord. To get your attention. Right. But if someone got up and spoke in an unknown tongue, uh-huh. and then someone else interpreted what was said, uh-huh. and then the whole church was edified, without a shadow of a doubt, you know that was God. Um. Okay. You said okay when you disagreed with me before. Did he, he's scratching his so head. So I'm going to just say okay because that <laughs> okay, okay is the interpretation of I disagree. <laughs> he's scratching his head. <laughs> we in the Jones family we say okay. That means <laughs> that means are you through? <laughs> That's right. Um, now watch this. Yes. He also said, "Why should we go back and do?" Then this is a young man on Facebook. All okay. Right? He also said, "I mentioned Acts two mm-hmm. about they all spoke in a language that all." other men understood somebody in that area understood correct so then he says well why go back and do go, do something old so basically today i'm hearing a lot of tongues that nobody understand correct nobody so not even not even jesus <laughs> <laughs> he's like really can i get an interpretation because <laughs> i'm lost <laughs> two thousand years ago i'm still uh uh so why is it then because when you hear tongues today, yes. a lot of it sounds alike. Yes. Okay. Yes. It, it repeating other people. Correct. I, I I attend a lot of churches where where everybody who got upset the same thing. Yes. Because they've been hearing it from each other because in that sense. The main person who does that mm-hmm. is influential over yep. the rest. Right. So right. it's like a mother mm-hmm. or a father yeah. and their spirit it's upon the rest of them and they sound like that person absolutely i can name churches where other the other women who Mm -hmm. allegedly speaks in tongues sounds Mm -hmm. exactly like the Mm -hmm. church mother the pastor's wife Mm -hmm. or whoever Mm -hmm. that's an influence that is an influence okay which don't which don't make it right it don't make it right okay now watch this so why why aren't anybody that i have met in my almost 50 years speaking in tongues like acts 2 wait a minute you almost 50 years old? <laughs> that means you got to be 52 at least. <laughs> no, I'll be 51 November 11 <laughs> at 12.03 a.m. All right, it's coming. Yes. I'll be sure to stay in the house. <laughs> Me uh, too. Yeah. So why is it that everybody's speaking in what you call a heavenly language mm-hmm. and nobody's speaking according to Acts and 2, which where it started? Because Acts 2 and 4, we can't mm-hmm. really say nobody uh-huh. because we're not over the world. Okay. But in our Christian church right here in America, That's what I mean. where all uh, English speaking people, yeah. there's no need for Acts 2 and 4. Uh-huh. Because Acts 2 and 4, they spoke foreign language. Mm-hmm. They spoke the language of the other people that was hearing. I see. Wherefore, the Bible says signs, uh, tongues are a sign for the unbelievers. Okay. Those unbelievers, uh-huh. when they heard the believers uh-huh. speaking, to the believer a yeah. foreign language right but to the unbeliever they were speaking in their language okay they became a believer then so signs are a uh, 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 tongues are a sign for the unbeliever then why are we still speaking it in a believing church because tongues still do exist but you have to understand there is new tongue other tongue uh, foreign tongue Paul didn't unknown tongue. he did not give an order he did not give uh, which tongue you yes. speak that will that will, will move the unbeliever. He just said tongue. Right. True. And and this is where our King James has the parentheses mm-hmm. unknown. Mm-hmm. But you have to look at the content of Paul's letter. Mm-hmm. Now sometimes Paul speaks on. He says the term, or according to our King James translation, he says the t- term unknown. Mm-hmm. But Jesus says, I think in Mark sixteen, that the believer would speak with new tongues mm-hmm. then what is this new tongue that the believer would speak with and that's good he didn't say <laughs> <laughs> I so, knew it yeah he didn't say so how why we, do we fill in the bible with our own a- analogies because watch watch this yes Jesus also said you shall pick up serpents it'll bite you and it won't harm you correct I know many people who died because they got bit right, right? Mm-hmm. okay I and you you it, power will come over you after this Holy Ghost thing mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. and then you'll be able to raise the dead I'm yet to my, meet anybody in America okay who who did do this work so where was Giggle Smith 
Smith. Huh? Smith. I'm yet to meet anybody <laughs> in America. <laughs> <laughs> Giggle Snort Hotel was is gone a long time ago. I'm yet in my 50 years yes. to meet anybody who does this. Okay, mm-hmm. now P- Jesus was talking to his disciples. Yes. All right, and mm-hmm. he was saying some things that we don't do today. We don't practice. It's, it's almost like we're powerless compared to what he was saying to yes. his disciples. You know why we're powerless? Why is that? Because the church of today does mm-hmm. not believe the uh, Bible. Okay. Period. That nailed it. If we believe the Bible, see. We say that faith mm-hmm. says that I'm going to get this. I'm gonna. I believe that I'm gonna get it. No faith says you already have it. Right. So because uh, it's an evidence. It's an evidence. Yes. So if you have evidence, that means you're guilty. Evidence. Evidence. Who's that? Uh. Uh. uh, uh the man out there. And uh, he's a pastor now, ain't he? I think so. You know. Fred, uh, yeah. Price. Fred Price. Yeah. Fred uh-huh. Price. That was his theme song. Y'all. Yes. Evidence. The, the, so the Bible says about faith in mm-hmm. uh, Hebrews 11. Faith is two things. Mm-hmm. It's the evidence mm-hmm. of things. And it is what? It's the substance of things. Hopefully. It's the evidence and it is the substance, which means if you have faith, that actual faith is the actual substance right. of the matter. Right. If you got the substance, you already have it. I agree. So we don't believe the Bible, period. Yeah. yeah. If we if we did, we wouldn't be wrestling and the church would be further on than what it is. So we have allowed people to change the Bible or influence or many of our commentators are either not saved or don't believe Mm -hmm. and so we have allowed them to influence us we've allowed uh, the tv programs to influence us that's why i don't really watch too many religious stations because i don't want to be influenced me either pastor eric jewel hayes uh one of our facebook friends out of indianapolis Mm -hmm. you know pray for him his his mother and lost his mother a couple days ago uh he gave the most perfect analogy of what what faith is Mm -hmm. he says and he said a friend told him that back in the back in the south, you know, when a preacher came to town, they came to the house. The kids hated it, right? Because he, the preacher, got the the first choice yes. of the best. Mm-hmm. Okay, and and it says, and then the preacher would invite other friends, and so now the kids <laughs> had to eat at the table. Okay, <laughs> right, right. Or, or they the the, the the adults ate first. Mm-hmm. All right, so when they had the 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 food, the the um the big bird, the turkey. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the preacher eat the the turkey and everybody at the table eat turkey and then what they did with the kids later on they gave them the necks right and the backs exactly okay so he says and he would walk into the the kitchen and he says that's that's now I get what faith is mm-hmm. he said when I walked in the house I smelled this aroma the smell of the turkey <laughs> was the substance mm-hmm. of things that I hoped <laughs> to eat he said but when I saw those bones sitting there on the plate. <laughs> That that was the evidence of the turkey I did not eat. <laughs> I thought that was perfect. <laughs> so it's there. Mm-hmm. Um, um, now there are there are different Bibles that mm-hmm. are in the Bible. Yeah, there are different books. That is, mm-hmm. there are different books that are in the Bible. The Bible mentioned books in the Bible itself. Yes, and you tell me if you recognize some of them. What well, one? Uh, one is the Book of Enoch. Yes. Now, 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 watch this. Uh, we heard one thing about Enoch at the beginning. Mm-hmm. It says he walked with God, and and he was not, <laughs> and he was not. <laughs> right. Good night. Good night. Okay. But when you go into the New Testament, he found you found him in there. He 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 gave a sermonette. So he was. So, <laughs> so he was. Yeah. But watch this. There's there's the Book of the Covenant. Okay, in mm-hmm. Exodus twenty four, there's the the book of the wars of the Lord, number twenty one. There's a book of Jasher. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, which I have a download of that one. And that one in the book of Enoch. I have those two downloads. Uh, the the manner of the kings, or the book of statues, they call it. Mm-hmm. The the book of Samuel the seer. Mm-hmm. The book of Nathan the prophet. Mm-hmm. The book of Acts of Solomon. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I've got scripture references to these books. It's, it's, mm-hmm. They're talking about them in these books. Mm-hmm. Uh, first Kings, Second Chronicles, First Chronicles, First Samuel. They're talking about these books. Uh, Prophecy of uh, Abijah, the story of Prophet Ida, I- Idol. Okay, uh, visions of Idol, the, the the seer, the book of Jehu, uh, the sayings of seers, the book of Enoch, which I mentioned earlier, the book of Gad, the mm-hmm. seer. Okay, these are all books that the Bible itself speak of. Right, but yet we have the canonized. 66. Right. And then, of course, the the, the Catholics have some, you know, yeah, Maccabees the other, the and all these other guys. Seven or the other mm-hmm. six or something like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, uh, apparently, we, 
and, and really what that what what that's going to do is segue into our demonology.